A Spokane Valley boy is safe this morning after being kidnapped. His disappearance sparked an Amber Alert spanning three states. The NRA is filing a lawsuit against Washington State for a recently passed gun initiative. This morning, we hear from leaders with the NRA on why they say the bill is unconstitutional. National Teacher of the Year Mandy Manning stopped by the Creme 2 studios. She shared her reaction to proposed budget cuts at school districts across the state. Welcome to Creme 2 Morning News on the CW22. It is 7 a.m. now on this Wednesday. I'm Brittany Bailey. And I'm Jen York. Thanks so much for waking up with us. It's going to be a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. It's already off to a beautiful yeah. start around the inland northwest. Ooh. Beautiful look this morning outside. Let's check in with Evan Aroni this morning in the Weather Center with everything we need to know to get our day started. So I've got these same kinds of trees from this live look right around my apartment and it's so beautiful every single day that I go outside on my balcony to just see more and more of the trees filled. Oh, we are finally in the midst of the spring season and it's looking beautiful. Another beautiful day around the northwest with sunny blue skies outside. Take a look at satellite radar. Nothing to note as far as precipitation goes. The only showers that we do have are clearing out of the Grangeville area as we speak. If we pause this out right now, you can see dry, calm conditions outside. Here's the next 12 hours. Sunny skies all the way through about 6 p.m. before the sun starts going down around 7 and 8 o'clock, gaining about two and a half minutes of daylight as we go on with each day. 12-hour uh, forecast does show that 6 65 degrees will be that afternoon high, so we remain above average for our high temperatures. The high trend of above average temperatures continues today, tomorrow, and even your Friday, but Friday signals a little bit of a change. A cold front moves through. That cold front is going to bring some wet and windy conditions into your Friday, and by the time we get to your weekend, showers are going to continue a bit into your Saturday, and the biggest thing is it's going to drop those temperatures down to the 50s, about the mid-50s or so, into your weekend and the beginning of next week. So enjoy the 60s while you can and especially enjoy those sunny skies outside. I'll send things over to Cody Crawford, who's getting a check of traffic now at 702. Good morning. Right now we're taking a look outside at I-90 near Freya Street, and it looks like we're seeing moderate traffic flows for this morning. So if you're about to start your morning commute at 602 this morning, I'd give yourself a few extra minutes to get out the door to work. Those are all the updates I have, but if you have any questions, you can head on over to our website at crim.com. Brittany and Jen, back to you. Cody, thank you. A five-year-old Spokane Valley boy is safe this morning, but his mother is in the hospital. His father is now dead. Now, this all started around 5 a.m. yesterday when authorities say the boy's father stabbed his estranged wife and kidnapped his son, and that sparked an Amber Alert across three states. It all came to a head with a standoff last night in St. John. The suspect, Justin Robertson, locked himself inside a home there for several hours. He eventually released his son, Ethan, safely. Deputies say it all ended after Robertson took his own life. Either way, it's a bad outcome, but thankfully uh, the victim sounds like she is doing better. The child's safe and none of the uh, numerous law enforcement and firefighters that were here were injured. Well, the boy's mother is recovering in the hospital this morning. She was wounded, but is expected to survive. Well, we are learning the suspect's estranged wife had recently served him with divorce papers and court records show Robertson was involved in two separate domestic violence incidents <laughs> with his wife. Both happened within the last five months. In documents, the wife writes that Robertson put a tracking device in her car. He followed her and their son on multiple occasions. She says in November she was in the car with Robertson when he drove into oncoming traffic three times. There was also mention of Robertson being suicidal since that incident. His wife said at one point he was no longer going to behavioral health appointments. Just days before the divorce papers were filed, she says he threatened to harm himself and her with a knife if she did not obey his commands. Now the wife did have a security system in her home and authorities first learned about what happened yesterday because of a panic alarm likely linked to that system. A panic alarm can be triggered by something as small as a key fob in your pocket. Experts say when someone with a security system hits a panic button, it sends a cell signal to a monitoring center associated with the security company. Now, these cases are seen as a higher priority than a burglary. 
If you or someone you know is a victim of domestic violence, you can find help through the YWCA. Mm -hmm. Someone is there to answer your call 24 hours a day, seven days a week at the number on your screen. The National Domestic Violence Hotline also is available 24 seven. There also is an online chat feature on the website. The Washington State Legislature passed a measure that would make daylight saving time all the time. Well, the House approved the changes to the bill from the Senate. While federal law allows states to opt into standard time permanently, the reverse is prohibited and requires congressional action. More than 30 states are considering legislation related to the practice of changing clocks twice a year. The bill now heads to Governor Jay Inslee's desk. Well, the Washington State Legislature approved new limits on what are known as ghost guns. Ghost guns are untraceable or undetectable firearms like 3D printed guns. The new proposal would outright ban undetectable guns. Any firearm that does not contain at least 3.7 ounces of steel would be outlawed. Any gun that would not show a <laughs> recognizable outline in an x-ray machine also would be banned. The measure now heads to Governor Jay Inslee for consideration. The National Rifle Association is suing to block a new gun control measure in Washington State. The lawsuit is challenging Initiative 1639. Now that bill is one of the strictest gun laws nationally. It raised the purchase age to 21 for semi-automatic rifles and created enhanced background checks. The initiative also authorizes the state to require gun sellers to add $25 to sales of semi-automatic rifles to pay for new regulations. In a press release, the NRA, NRA stated the bill violates the Commerce Clause by banning sales of rifles to non-residents. They say it also unconstitutionally impairs the rights guaranteed by the First, Second, and Fourteenth Amendments. Initiative 1639 was approved by Washington voters in the midterm elections. Supporters of the bill say it is a major step forward for addressing factors in mass shootings. They say it also will help to reduce suicide deaths by firearms and accidental shootings. Well, the 2018 National Teacher of the Year, Mandy Manning, is weighing in on the budget crisis facing school districts across Washington State. District leaders have said the new state funding model left funding gaps, but state lawmakers say they have fulfilled their obligation to fully fund basic education. The situation hits close to home for Manning. Her former assistant teacher was among the 325 Spokane Public School employees to receive layoff notices. She is a compassionate, competent, excellent educator who really focuses on connecting with kids and making lessons engaging. And she's the exactly the kind of educator we need in our schools. And we're going to lose her if we don't fix this budget crisis. Well, Manning says she plans to keep advocating for students and educators. 708 on the dot now. Well, if you're looking for a way to light up the outside of your house, Deal Boss Matt Granite shows us an eco-friendly light that has a lot of brightness for a little amount of money. And more than 30 cats rescued from a hoarding case need your help this morning. We are getting a live update from Scraps.